Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Enshrouded. Back for some more adventures in this fun new game. And tonight might be the night. We're finally gonna shed this ratty looking tabard thing I got on. And maybe get some real looking armor. I've got a couple pieces on, actually. It just doesn't look like it when I have this uh, torn, padded, queerest thing on. Uh, we're gonna replace this thing tonight. I want to do some farming. We've already got a few crops uh, planted right now at the uh, at the house. I planted a couple things uh, off stream. Uh, but I need to go find some more crops. In particular, I want to try and find corn because there's a recipe I could use to combine the corn with the honey to make like this uh, sweet popcorn stuff that looks like it's got a pretty good stamina boost on it. So I wouldn't mind grabbing that. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. I do greatly appreciate it. Special thanks to our top tier mistakes for made members for choosing that top tier membership option. So, as I said, I started planting already. I just have a couple things out here. So, this row here is uh, chamomile. Uh, these ones are not quite grown yet. Still got, like, repo. Is it repo or repot? I think it's probably repot on there. I don't know. I think this is a German company, so I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, and then I've got some of the flax growing here. Uh, I planted it in batches, so it's not all growing at the same the same rate. But uh, we got some flax so we can finally make uh, the, the different armor. Uh, I planted a couple of bushes over here, or shrubs, because I want to see what kind of uh, stick volume I can get off of them. So we might be able to, like, supply ourselves with sticks for arrows without having to go hunting for them. We could just walk out and rip up the plants in the front yard. Um, I think I might even have some more that I had in progress in here. Yeah. We'll plant a few more of these shrubs. See how they do at uh, supplying us with sticks for arrows. Uh, but like I said, I want to try and find some more crops tonight that we can plant. I know there is corn in the game. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of all the different crops you can get. Um, but I'm sure there's other ones that will be useful too. The, the corn I know in particular is used for that popcorn. So I, I want to get my hands on that if I can find it. Uh, maybe we'll grab some of this flax here. What's our harvest rate? So we get one flax for it. Backpack. Yeah, one flax, but each one flax can then be used in the uh, in the seed box in order to produce uh, ten more to plant. So, not a bad exchange rate. Gotta be a little bit careful when you're like harvesting these things though, because you'll see like if you're just hitting the button too fast, these other ones aren't ready yet. It immediately switches to like harvesting those ones. I'm granted you can just replant them, but probably is repot because you can move them around. Base looks cozy. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. I mean, I'd like something a little bit more on the outside here to make it look a little bit more cozy. I probably should have done something to make these into, like, individual little flower beds instead. Or not even flower beds, but, like, little planter areas. Uh, for now, I just threw down some, uh, I threw down some dirt. You know, let it rip kind of thing. Throwing it straight there. That's the, uh, the farm dirt, too, so it should be growing a little bit faster than, uh, than it might otherwise. Uh, I do need more water. We got more shrubs ready there. Um, split my stack a couple times here. You get ten for each of these, so I'm gonna put those ones in there. We'll use these other ones for making linen. We'll plant the rest of these. You check the hunter backpack upgrades now. Do you have the linen? Uh, no, I haven't yet. I also need the linen for uh, for some uh, armor upgrades. At the very least, I know we need it for the uh, for the chest piece. I, I can't remember if there was uh, other ones I still needed. I have the um, I don't know, like boots or pants or something. I don't remember. What do we got here? No, no, not him. Although this guy, I think, has something I need also. He's got the wooden bucket. Eventually, we'll need the wooden bucket in order to make our own water well. <clears throat> but I don't have the well unlocked just yet, so I can hold off and make it the bucket for now. What does she got? Drying racks, animal fur, resin torch, ranger set, carpets. Medium backpack. I need dried fur and linen. Goodbye. What do I got on the drying rack? Oh, just berries. Go with dried fur. I need animal fur and salt. Stick those in there. Animal fur and salt. Unfortunately, you can't even just like draw them out of here. You gotta have them in your inventory. Uh, there we go. Need some of them there. Fancy dried furs. Whoops. Okay. So three salt and one animal fur for everyone that it makes. That's not bad, I guess. We'll get that going. 
Uh, over here we make the linen. Slap that in there. That'll give me, uh... No, that'll give me like seven linen. Which really isn't all that many. I need more flax. This is gonna take water. I need, uh... Oh, actually... Wait a minute. It's making... I'm still making shrubs. I think. But I need two per, so I'm gonna need six water. There we go. Should probably go loot some more water too while we're at it. The well might be ready over here. <clears throat> Love your little monastery looking base. Yeah, I kinda like it. I, I wanna figure out something more to do in the courtyard here, because the, the courtyard's kinda barren right now. Uh, it would be nice to have something a little bit nicer in here. Um, and then outside, I feel like we should have some, like, pathways and maybe something that, like, makes the garden area look nice. Maybe some sort of, like, lighting, like this thing out here. Probably set up some sort of, like, I don't know, light posts. Something of that nature. Walk garden with a little water feature? <laughs> I wish you could have water features. Cryptic Fox the Farmer. That's right, old school. It's pretty easy to, uh... Pretty easy to do the farming of this. It's really not... It doesn't take a whole lot of time. I think more than anything, it'll just be like trying to find the other seeds for things that I want to plant. Gotta keep an eye out for things I can harvest. <laughs> want a little, yeah, a little bonsai tree? Ah, I wish we could do like a bonsai tree thing. Seven seconds, so we get more shrubs. Oh man, the linen crafts fairly quickly, at least. I got eight out of it. It's all right. All right, eight linen, and then uh, in here we have the adventurer set. I need charcoal. I should have some that I had in progress outside, so that'll do. Um, I, don't, I should probably double check what the actual what items I have on here. So I've got the Adventurer Trousers, Rising Fighter Boots, Adventurer Gloves, Adventurer Helmet. So I need the boots and the uh, and the chest piece still. Uh, oh, and I want to make the new glider, too. I think we need linen for that also, maybe. Gliders. I do. I need... Oh, I'm short one shroud sack. How did I... How did that happen? I thought for sure I brought back enough shroud sacks. One sack short, dang it. That's super inconvenient. How's this thing doing? Okay, I gotta get more copper while we're out around too. This thing's done. There we go. Adventure armor, and then the boots. I'm gonna need uh, well, linen and dried fur again. So you got a heart of steel. hopefully that uh, hopefully that flax is ready out there soon. Change this over to flax seeds. All right. So the armor I have right now is 42 physical resist. that will bump it up to 61. Doubles the amount of the health bonus, which is nice. And like, plus nine magical resist. That's pretty good. Plus it looks cooler. Look, I actually look like I'm wearing proper armor now. Oh my god, I look like a proper adventurer. Minus the boots. We still got some shoddy boots on, but... He doesn't look like he's just wearing like some somebody's like battered, uh, battered up castaway. Yeah, make, talking about making a pool. I don't. There's no water in this game. It seems like everywhere that the water was turned into the shroud. At least that's how it seems. I figure I'm gonna need a lot of these because we're gonna need a lot of twigs. I'm an arrow-consuming maniac. 
Well, areas collect fog, and that's where the water would be, but spores took over and it shrouded. Yeah, pretty much. So, like, anywhere there, it's, like, you can see, like, the red stuff, for example. I don't think it's, like, lava, but it's, uh, it's more of the shroud. It's just, it's all settled into the low-lying areas where the water is. Or where the water would be, anyway. Oh, it's gonna take a while. Okay, I gotta wait for the seeds. Um, I guess I can get rid of this. Oh, we can just delete that. There's no point carrying that around. Oh, what did I just put away? Oh, my arrows. Copper arrow, we're gonna need those. Lock picks, we're gonna need those. Ah. I guess it would help if I was holding shift when I did that. There we go. <laughs> After playing Power World last night, Mike, I'm all confused with the controls now. I was like, why did that happen? <laughs> Ooh, trap cores. We might even be able to expand our shroud thing some more. Or our flame. Alter! Oh, I need two more shroud cores before we can expand and get the 120 area. This thing, we need a bunch of stuff. Uh, I did find where the amber is. I got, I was poking around a little bit. Fell Wisp Wyvern's head, so we're a long way off of that, I guess. I haven't even seen one of those things. Probably don't want to yet. Shoot an arrow with a lockpick into the chair. Yeah, exactly. That's how you unlock your heart. Oh, I should probably cook that food, too. Roasted meat on a bone. Make sure of course, the alchemist. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. You can actually. I can make those out of those uh, the smaller ones. Brown sparks or whatever they are. Be a cool thought is to have a swimming fishing area with a nice dock to run off and you know, cannonball. I do that every day. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. I think I rid of the flashing with crafting. Yeah. It doesn't bother me too much when I'm playing myself, because I just look away from the screen, but... When I'm streaming, it's a bit much. So I could totally see that. I hope they get rid of the fog in the buildings, too, eventually. Oops. Don't punch the blacksmith. He's there to help you. Okay, I've got too much food on me now. Someone here. Save it for later. Let's see. Shroud cores. Uh, I need more shroud liquid, apparently. So I can make it, but I've still got to go get more stuff. Spiritual cane. Order we already have. Grinding stones we already have. The chain heals and chain lightnings and stuff here now. Not that I'm really using magic. Apparently the uh, the strongest builds in the game are the magic ones. Could be a bit of a glass cannon, but you just like dump out damage. And more importantly, I've got to get my hands on another shroud sack. Got a good eye. <clears throat> so I guess we'll go look for those. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that, but whatever. It's good. We need it anyway. Alright. So we're down here. Uh, we need to go... This is where I found the amber over here. I guess we'll go over to the Revelwood Spire. Below the Revelwood Spire, I know there's some of those uh, shroud plants that have the... Uh, they're blue and you can get the sacks off them. We'll just splash on down into there. <clears throat> Careful expanding the base here. It went too big and now I only get uh, ominous shroud music and ambient sounds. Oh, really? Because your, your base like moved into the place where the buildings are back there or something? A test of skill? I want to do a test of skill. There's so many points of interest on this map still I haven't even come across. Anyway, we're going down here. We should be able to find what we're looking for.
really looking forward to getting the upgraded glider so we can fly farther. That'd be sweet. See a blue thing already. That's one. So these big rock pillars here, some of them have like amber around the uh, the base of them. It's kind of like grows right in the rock. You gotta like chip it out. I don't know the one. Yeah, it's right over here. This one here I know had amber in it. Yeah, this is the amber here. This like weird orange webby looking stuff. I know we're gonna need more of this. Oh, did it lag a little bit while I was in the map? Sorry. It's. Uh, hold on a second. Let me turn off the uh, replay buffer. That seems to help. There we go. Big old, yeah, coagulation of amber. This whole thing's like amber all through the inside of it. Let's hollow the whole thing out. No gravity here? No, not exactly. I mean, there's gravity affects the player and it affects your uh, your bow shots and stuff, but uh, it doesn't affect physical things. So you can chisel the whole way through here and just leave it hanging in midair, just like in Minecraft. There's a good chunk of amber in here. Holy. I think a bunch of stone too, which I don't necessarily need, but. Wait till you need bronze, 20 tin ore for one tin bar. You need three tin and seven copper to make bar. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of tin. I haven't even come across tin yet. Super looking forward to that grind. Alright, 58, this, that's a good start. Um, I'll hold on to the stone for now, but I'll probably wind up getting rid of it, actually. <laughs> Free up room in my inventory. Uh, I also need some more of the, um, some more of the shrooms. I got that void juice. Shroud liquid, whatever. All them shroud liquids. Tumak with a one-year membership renewal. Thanks, Tumak. Appreciate it. Great. You know, I'm gonna get some more shroud sacks since last time I didn't get enough of them. We got extras. I swear at some point when I was playing, I came across corn, and I don't remember where I found it. But now I want it. There's like a spot of amber like right there. We need to consider getting out of here. Oh, don't do that. 
twisted an arrow. Hey, now where's the roadway out of here? Am I showing the amber spot on the map? Yeah, sure. Uh, just one second. Let me get back over here. I can find out where it was now. Well, so I have this one marked down here. That's where I dug out that big chunk of it. So it's pretty much almost straight east of the uh, the ancient spire down in the, uh, in the shroud. Uh, there was another spot on the ground over here I found. Somewhere. I'm a little turned around in the fog now. I'm not. I'm not sure where exactly. This is why you don't go wandering around in snowstorms, people. Or intense fog. <laughs> I think Court was at a homestead. Yeah, probably. Maybe it would make sense. Uh, we're down to two and a half minutes here. I gotta get out of the shroud. I guess we'll go down this way. Oh, oh. Evil stinky flower. Hitting like branches or something in front of it. Did it die? That's weird. Ah, inside the tree. Oh crap, I thought there was a way out right here. Uh, I need to double back. I know there's a slope here that will get me up out of the shroud. I just I thought it was down this way. Did Johnny get the corn? It's like, leave now! Alright, we're free. What's this? Indigo. Really dark out here, man. Yeah, we can teleport home with this stuff. Let's get that upgraded glider. Let's travel for the win. Could have cut the tree down and got the shroud, but I guess. I just didn't want to spend the time doing it. <clears throat> Not that I couldn't have got it, I just didn't didn't want to spend the time. Uh okay. Gliders. Shroud wood, linen, string, shroud, sex. Boom! Charge speed! That's completed a graceful flight. Oh, yeah. So 100% range goes to 150% range. 15 speed. Same stamina per second, though. It's an improvement, though. I'll take it. This one, I guess we can just delete. I guess you never really lose your equipment. Dun dun dun. Brickland's fast travel west, flight, blah blah. Where's that now? Sorry, the map's gonna be a little chunky here when I go in here. Uh, Springlands fast travel. Oh, right here? And then west? Oh yeah, the farm that's right here, you're right. The uh, Harvest Homestead is right there. We'll hit, the, hit that up in the morning, I guess. Throw away some of this stuff. It's gonna be so much fun, which the uh, the better flying, you mean? Kind 
Okay, there was, uh, who would want to do the cooking pot? Or am I, conf I might be confusing... Yeah, I can't remember... <laughs> I thought I'm confusing something with Power World that I was playing last night, or there was actually something I needed to craft here. I think somebody wanted a cooking pot. Was it you? Uh, oh, yes. So she wants the kettle. And I think I have a quest for that. Fireplace for the farmer, yes. We have to go to, uh, in Pike Mead's Reach. Get our kettle back. All right, let's go get, we'll get corn first. Oh, and I'll plant the, uh, the flax out here. We need it to start growing. Battered cheese balls. Those things are growing nicely. All right. I'm not fiddly enough to make these, like, perfect, but we'll try to space them out at least reasonably... ...reasonably well. Didn't quite line up, but whatever. It's fine. Need more dirt over here. Two left, and I ran out of dirt. There we go. Tomorrow with super chat. I can't type messages in chat. Really? That's weird. Uh, I mean, there shouldn't be anything stopping you. I wouldn't think. Oh, how do we? How many do we get here? One twig. One twig and two plant fiber off of these. That's weird. Why did that one grow faster than the other ones? Huh. How random. So that only got me six twigs. I'm gonna have to plant a crazy number of those things for that to be really worthwhile. Lord man, you snappy good planting. No, I'm a heathen. I don't snap nothing. <laughs> YouTube's been messing up. YouTube's always messing up in some way or another. I got the rest of my sticks. I'm sure I got sticks here somewhere. Right? Sticks. I've got 26. It should be enough to make some more arrows, I think. No, not her. Over here. Not there. Come on. That's better. If it bleeds, we can connect. Hey, sixteen dried fur. What else did I need for that bag? I need a backpack. Oh, the six linen, right. Have you begun to east all your veggies for better buffs? East them all. I don't know, how do we east what? <laughs> I've only just started planting stuff, so I, I have very little here right now. I gotta go find some more. Uh, we have chamomile and flax growing. I've, I've been uh, planting some of these uh, shrub things to try to get sticks to see how many I could produce out of that. Uh, we need to go find some more. So we're gonna go hit the homestead. Fast trail over to here. He's snapping on farming, makes placement, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's handy. I do all the things. All the things at once. I gotta go west. Down to there. That's where we're headed. I've been here before. That's probably where I saw the corn before, actually. Oh, we get so much more forward motion. 50% more, actually. Wow, we can really go places now with a glider. That's cool. So much better. Oh, 
That was drive straight to the ground, no problem. What do we got here? Tomatoes! We've got tomatoes. This is just plant fiber. As long as we're here, we might as well get the shrooms too, I guess. I don't know what I need them for, but... I know I can make a mushroom soup. Oh, no you don't. Back off, wolf. Get your own mushrooms, little jerk. Oh! <laughs> hey, wiped out the garden too. Good thing I had already emptied it. Damocles of Syracuse with a super chat. Cult of the Lamb is 2 DLC and a major update out. Gonna give them a look sometime? Possibly. I don't know, there's so much coming out right now. February is going to be a really busy month for games. Uh, for anybody who likes survival games in particular. So obviously we're still playing Enshrouded. Uh, Pal World's obviously still out there in the world. But then we also have um, uh, Nightingale coming out. Pacific Drive is coming out. Uh, Winter Survival's coming out. The, uh, the 1.0 update for um, Sons of the Forest will be out. Oh, jeez. Wolf. The 1.0 update for, um... Uh, crap, what's that other one with the little miniature people? <laughs> oh man, my brain won't work. Anyway, there's another survival game. It's coming out also. Uh, and I just heard that there was an update coming out for something on... Also on February 22nd. Like, three things in on February 22nd. Crazy. Not a lot of corn to be had here, but we got some. Small land, yeah, thank you. Small land is coming out with a 1.0, and then there was something else that had a big update coming out. It's a busy month. Good start to the year, just a busy month, that's all. Not sure where to find time to play everything I want to do. Any Alan Wake type games? Uh, no, and if the next time there's another Alan Wake game that comes out, I won't play it on the channel. I might still play it for myself, but... Uh, so, I after I streamed it um, a few times, it wasn't really doing very well, so I decided I was just going to finish the game out, like, record it and upload it. Uh, uh, so I'm still working on that. But, like, the last upload of that got something like 400 views, which is just... Like, dramatically lower than anything I ever do. <laughs> it's, so it's not, not terribly worth my time. Definitely need to take the month of February off. Yeah. Pretty much. Only yeah, I could. Our company used to have a sabbatical process where, like, every five years, you would get a one-month paid sabbatical, or four weeks, basically. On top of the, uh, the paid time off you would get. So, like, after you'd gotten a little bit of tenure, you'd have, like, five weeks of paid time off for the year. And then every fifth year, you'd get four weeks together of a, of a sabbatical off. Awesome benefit. Eventually they decided it was just too expensive and they, they got rid of it. I got to take advantage of it, I think, twice. Before they got rid of it. And then the third time they were phasing it out. So I got, instead of like the regular four weeks, I got like an extra three days or something. Because <laughs> that's just the, the point of the cycle I was in. God, this glider's got so much more forward motion. It's great. It's not even the top end glider. Oh, give, me the, give me the corn. Give me the corn! Why can't I harvest this one? You have to get me, man. Can I chop it? <laughs> can't chop it. There we go. We just gotta get it down close enough to the root, I guess. Alright, what else have we got here that's growing? Honey, I'm using my sabbatical to play video games. That that would lead quickly to divorce. <laughs> my wife is, uh, you know, supportive of the whole YouTube thing because it helps to provide for the family, but uh, I'm pretty sure she would not be okay with that. I had to guess. Ah, oh, you jerk. Sure Evil wolves.
Apparently your phone blows, oh. <laughs> At least it's not a YouTube problem, because if it was a YouTube problem, it would be harder for you to resolve it. I thought this farm was the one that we had found a message. Uh, something about... Something... Something buried in one of the fields, too. get some food that lasts longer. These ones are just terrible. I guess I could also get spend some points on the buff that makes your food last longer too, I guess. We've stumbled into a corn video. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to... What is it? Is it Iowa that has a lot of corn? Welcome to Iowa. Or Nebraska or whatever it is. One of those places. <laughs> At least there aren't children in the corn. Yeah. If you, if anybody spots any little blonde kids, let me know. I'm. Uh, like to avoid those if possible. I don't remember there was a chest up here. Yeah, there was. <clears throat> Fair bit of corn grown over here in Manitoba too. There is. Yeah. Lots of potatoes, also, for the McCain Company. A couple more little things. Peace! my torch and eh, smoke the midair suck it bees I love how some of the hives fall to the ground and other ones just like stay hanging in the air <laughs> Nebraska's the corn, all right. I know Idaho's the potatoes. All right, we cleared this farm out. Or did we? What's over here? Yeah, no. Okay, this farm's clean. Lucky I don't have to deal with the bees on Icarus this last week. We had, uh, had to use ballistic arrows to kill them. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. I did see there was an update where they added bees and, like, uh, bee tending and honey collecting and that kind of junk. I haven't tried it yet, though. Is there any farm stuff down here in the shroud? Huh. Not a book. Church was destroyed. Curses. Last night's wind made a mess out of our church. Or whatever was left of it. Everyone was right. Should have reinforced the roof of some of those uh, building blocks. You'll relish in that too. And I must patch the holes. But I can't recall where I last placed the blocks. Thought I saw them near the church. But I can't find them anywhere. Did my eyes grow tired of age? Uh, tired with age after all? A weird little nook in here with some books in it. the church down here in the shroud, or is it up above that they're referring to? Hey, buddy. Oh, there is a wrecked church down here. Get on top of this pile. There we go. A 
found the basement. I think this place has seen better days. Tent stuff hanging out in the basement here. I know it does a lot of corn too, mostly for seed. Oh, yeah. Just to see a lot of people growing cow corn out west. Could have got out of the easy way, there's a climbing thing there. Get wrecked. Considering when I bought that jump attack, I was like, I'm not going to use this all that often. <laughs> I've used that jump attack a lot. In the basement there. rooms in this basement. Holy cow. A church with an executioner's axe. I'm concerned. It's a useful maneuver, all right. Yeah, it gets out of the way of a lot of stuff, too, which is nice. Found those blocks he was referring to. Yeah, we're running low on time here. We'll have to go uh go this way, we'll get out of the out of the shroud and recharge. Get through there. Still, none of the blocks that message was referring to.
good for AoE attacks, I guess. Ah, yes, the blocks. Yeah, there's some kind of building block that uh, the note referenced, and I don't know... I don't know where it is. I sort of thought it would be down here in the shroud, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's up top. Hard to tell with all this fog. I might have already gotten them too, I don't know. Is this the church with the uh, northwest of the starting area? Uh, it is, yeah. Gotta go up to the steeple, you say. This is the church, and this is the steeple. Open the doors, and here are the people. How do we get up there? Is there a staircase? Again, I could have taken the easy route. You totally just did that? What, climbing up the outside of the building? <laughs> or, the, or the church steeple thing. There we go, stone shingle roof blocks. I think I already had those. Okay, that's it for this farm area, anyway. Take this home and plant my corn. Farmer Cryptic on the case. I like how you can mine in any direction of the game, not just straight down. Yeah, it's great. Like, everything in the game is pretty much destructible as long as you got something that's capable of doing it. Uh, we need to make... I need for materials. What's it? Oh, okay. Um, corn seedlings. We need corn cobs and water. I need a lot of corn. It'll give 20 each, so that's like 100 corn right there. That's not bad. Uh, put some stuff away. There we got tomatoes. Oh, I gotta make tomato plants too. I should make another one of those uh, garden seed bed things. Because we don't have enough. That sums this. Building blocks, I've been stocked them all up in here, but I'm running out of room. Oh, I got fur in here too for some reason. I don't know why. And that thing also. Shrooms can go in there. Once I get the cooking pot, I'll have to keep the stuff at a different chest. Uh, sword can come out of there. Arrows. I guess this is my food chest now. Fox the Stalker. The Stalker? The Slacker? <laughs> Does this game have animal, animal husbandry? No, no. Just, uh, it has farming for plants, but, um, there's no animal husbandry that I'm aware of. Not that I've seen, anyway. Oh, I got more shrooms here, too. So many shrooms. I need a bigger chest to store food in. 
My god. Okay. Somewhere there was the recipe for the corn. Um. Shoot. Don't remember where I saw it, but I know I saw a recipe for making, like, popcorn. Cool, get him! Let's make some more bone meal. We can, uh, get a second one of those seed beds going. <sighs> Never mind, I got lots of bone meal already made. <laughs> I don't think I should put it outside. Maybe we'll put the, uh, the seed beds over here. There we go. Only one seed bed. What is this, hardcore? Nah, I just haven't gotten around to building a second one. Stuff. I don't know what else I need to grow. Plus three health regen for that. Where on earth did I see that popcorn stuff? This is the farmer? The farmer has it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Energy. Duh. Corn cobs and honey. Well, for some reason, it, I have corn cobs in storage, but oh, they're not in the craft. They're not in a crafting box. All right. Popcorn it is. Okay, so uh, this will give me plus seven stamina recharge. Uh, it only lasts five minutes, which is not exactly awesome. But that's as compares to the honey, which gives plus fifteen stamina for three minutes. Huh. Okay, that's way worse than the honey. <laughs> Crap, I was all excited to make the popcorn and it's not even better than the honey. What's up with that? I mean, chamomile tea. Health regen and endurance. Anytime. Well, now I'm disappointed. I was, re I was really excited to make popcorn, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, this fireplace I gotta get the other kettle for before I can make. No, I'm disappointed. I got all that corn for nothing. It's plus one strength. I mean, well, sure, we'll get to farm it and all, but... Not what I thought it would be. Flagrant false advertising. Let's see, tomato seedlings, also water. It's amazing how everything requires water. It's almost like they're plants or something. Get those going. Maybe you get more serving of popcorn per cook? Uh, I'll double check. I don't know. Stages of growth. If I leave these, will they get bigger so I can get more twigs out of them? Because one at a time is not really great. Yeah, no rain to help either, yeah. <laughs> so with the popcorn, we get, uh, we get five. For one honey. So I get, like, the net benefit overall is bigger, but I don't know. I feel like just using the honey directly is going to be better because you get a higher boost off of it. Anytime. My flax. 
max in here, I guess. Oh, I should see if I have enough to make my boots now. What do we need for them boots? Ventures set. Boots. Six linen. Break a leg. <laughs> Break a leg or several. <laughs> Shroud core. Had enough for two. That gives me enough to upgrade this thing. Upgrade altar. Bam. 120 by 120 now. Where does that put the line out here? Oh. I hope if I had the hammer out. I didn't notice the hammer glows. That's cool. All right, so there's our new barrier. Gives me significantly more room for farming. We got all kinds of room for activities. Go on, twigs, go mine a wolf dance. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, but I figured if I could have a whole bunch of them just sitting here at home that I would just like walk along and pick up, I figured that would be handy. Um, but like at one twig per bush, it's not really uh, as helpful as I thought it might be. Now that this is inside the range of my stuff, I can just dismantle these things. But they won't respawn. Get dismantled, buddy. Plan 100 at exit, uh... Once and you'll be okay. Yeah, I just, uh... Yeah, I gotta plant a bunch. Pine tree's nice and big. Man, that started really small. I was playing with this thing as a little seedling. It's huge now. Okay. More sleeps. <clears throat> Isn't it one twig to make ten seedlings? Uh, it's like uh, two fiber to make ten seedlings. So you're effectively converting seedlings into twigs, or uh, fiber into twigs, rather. There might be other options, I don't know. What do we got here? So I made the, uh, the shrub seedling. That's the one that gives the twigs. Uh, you get five shrubs out of like two, um, two uh, no, one plant fiber. So one plant fiber per five shrubs. And you get fiber out of it. Seems to get more fiber than sticks. I was like, if I could just run along and do this and then have a whole bunch of twigs to craft with, then that'd be great. I got me 18 and 50 fiber. that. I can make some boots now. Yeah, baby. Don't waste your breath. Don't waste your breath. Alright. So five additional armor and additional health regen. And they fit better with my pants. It's probably the more important factor there. Wait. Some of those were three fiber. Yeah, I think I have a skill. Probably should look at my skills. I haven't looked at those in a bit. Um, no, I don't have it actually. And that's only for mining. I thought I had a skill that gave me, like, occasionally gave me more of something when I was gathering, but I guess not. Uh, I have two points I can spend. Um, I was doing the assassin tree stuff over here. 
But I'm kind of not really... I'm not feeling it. I want the updraft, obviously, but I kind of... Based on the way that I've been fighting, I feel like I should probably be going like something like over the warrior side. Because I keep going sword and board. Um, your parry bashes your enemy for 20 blunt damage. I mean, that would be handy. Gain 30 stamina over you parry an enemy's attack. I mean, like, there's some good stuff over here in the athlete. What do we got on a warrior? I like to attack fast with one-handed swords and axes. That'd be good. Increases your constitution attribute by one. Health points by 50 per attribute point. When attacking with a melee weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. Meat now increases health by an additional 15%. Defeating a shroud-infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish plus five seconds of shroud time. Increase your strength. All melee blunt damage is increased by an additional ten. Slasher for ten. Thrust for ten. Attack with a melee weapon, your critical hit chance increased by ten percent. I mean, there's some good stuff down there. What about the tank things? Equipped with a melee weapon, you can perform an evade attack with, uh, which dashes towards an enemy and deals more weapon damage with left mouse button. Armor gains 10% more armor. Constitution. Those are both constitution. Heavy plates. The maximum amount of physical damage your armor is able to mitigate is increased by 10%. There are three more enemies within 20 meters. You suffer 15% less magical damage. Three more enemies, see 10% less physical. Whenever an ally draws the attention of an enemy, you draw an equal. I don't need that. All damage against players within 10 meters reduced by 10%. That's for like other players, multiplayer and stuff. Healer tree is overpowered, is it? Where's the healer tree? Beastmaster Ranger. Oh, healer's gotta be down here. Here it is. What do we got? Uh, intelligence. Uh, I, again, I haven't really been doing magic too much. Blank is a good one. Replaces uh, the dodge roll ability with a short range teleport. Health gains from healing spells will be increased by 10%. When killing an enemy with a magic weapon, you have a 10% chance to summon a friendly fire wisp. Oh. Huh. That's fun. Health gain from healing spells will be increased. Water aura. All players within 15 meters regenerate one health point per second for every point of your intelligence. Like again, this stuff seems like it's probably most helpful when you've got multiplayer... Killed by an enemy, all allies within 15 meters, uh, 15 meters gain 30% of their max health. Yeah. God, I don't know where to spend points. The tree's got too many cool things on it. Endurance. Runner. Where to spend, where to spend. Um, Eagle Eye. Greatly increase the zoom while aiming with a bow. Yeah. Plus 50% damage to ranged enemies. All ranged damage is increased by an additional 20%. Wow. All damage with all damage dealt with ranged weapons is increased by 10%. I've been using the bow a lot, but doesn't it include yourself in the aura? I'm not sure whether it does or not, Joseph. It might. I haven't tried it, so I just don't know. I don't know what to pick. I'm a little I'm a little torn. I'm a little torn. Heavy handed. Heavy stun bar is increased by an additional 20% when attacking into their block with a melee weapon. Oh boy. Merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. Well, that's after they're staggered. If it does, it means you'll have regen. Yeah, this is true. Um, but you have to get, like, way down in the tree to be able to use that, right? All players within 15 meters regenerate one point of health per second. I wish I would tell you if it included you. Does anyone, does anyone use this yet? Don't jack all trade. <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble with spending your, spreading your points around. You don't get deep enough into the trees, right? 
So, I mean, I knew I was going to get double jump anyway. I've been using the jump attack a lot, so I feel like that was a good that was a good grab. Uh, I definitely wanted the updraft, so I don't have any issue with going up there to get that one. Um, the base duration of the buff is good for everybody, so that was fine to grab. I don't care about the reviving people. Oof. Maybe I'll go down the warrior tree. That'll give me access to more shroud time. Or if I go this way, I can branch into the war. I don't know. God, I'm so dis I'm so indecisive. <laughs> too many choices. Uh, I'd probably end up with a battle mage. I seem to do that every time I play Elder Scrolls games, for example. Yeah, the mages are really powerful in this. Um, I mean, you can also we can also respec later if I decide to. So I think maybe uh, rather than agonizing over this, I think I'll just pick some stuff. We'll go Constitution. Uh, I don't have access to anything, anything else right now because it's. I don't have the points for it. I can put another Constitution point in. Give me more health. Increase your intelligence attribute by one magic. All right, hold on to the other point for now. Whatever. Yeah. I could spend forever just, like, agonizing over my choice in there. Okay, we already did the farmy thing. Uh, oh, actually, the corn should be ready. Some of it, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Let's go plant some corn, baby. Oh, do I have farm dirt on me? I don't. Got my hoe. Going with survival ranger build, love bows, extra food slot, shroud time, sounds good to me. Yeah, there's lots of good options. I, I kind of like the uh, the variety that you can go with. Plant corn out here instead of the uh, shrubbery thing. Oh wait, uh, snapping. There we go. All right, that's a little easier, I guess. I suppose. I mean, if you want your rows to be straight or something, I'm like, I don't know. There we go, I made a crooked row. <laughs> Got ran out already? Jeez. Go through that so fast, man. Well, the extra five minutes of shroud time? Yeah. That would be good. I don't know. I might end up respecting later. I, I use the bow a lot. The only problem is you just, like, burn through so many arrows. Spend all your time crafting sticks. Okay, what about tomatoes? Are the tomatoes ready? Nope. Alright, let's go adventuring. And also, what other quest areas can I knock out? Actually... Seed of Suspicion. What was that about? That is waypoint. Let's go up here. Let's see what that seed of suspicion is. How dare you plan organizedly? It's so against my nature. Normally, <laughs> I just like throw them in the ground. But people were complaining I didn't have the snap on, so you know, got to give the people what they want sometimes. Seed of suspicion. Oh, the glide time is so much better. Bring some spuds for your aim. I haven't found potatoes yet, actually. I don't know if there are any in the game or not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just hiding in the ground here. Oh, it's a global. Wow! Okay, Miss Fort. Oh, it's only level three. Well, should have got that a lot earlier, I guess. Oh well. Another one knocked out. <laughs> uh, where should we go next? I don't even know what that is. This is flashing over here, this flame sanctum. Okay, hold on. Where's my journal? 
go get the fireplace thing for the farmer. Uh, show that on the map. Okay, that's what we want. Set his waypoint. Go back up top here, we'll fly most of the way. People also want Ben and Fadi. I'm sorry, we can't give the people that. Turns out they revoked all purchases of Ben and Fadi from the Steam store, so uh, anyone who did want to play it just can't anymore, and it's, uh, it's a very tragic and unfortunate thing, but um, sometimes, you know, you just gotta deal with, deal with what you got. It's very sad. Very, very sad. There's another elixir well over there, too. Okay. Wow, good flight time now. I am not gonna get even a fraction of the way there. <laughs> I thought I could fly a lot of the way there, but that's that's not happening. I keep an eye on that stamina too. Ooh, look at the clay over there. We've been entroutified. You and Sergeant Kelvin uh, should play this together. He's playing right now as we speak. I don't know who Sergeant Kelvin is. I don't think I've seen his channel. Don't hit a tree. <laughs> George, George, Georgia, the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! Alright, we got out of there. Sort of. Might as well get this elixir while we're on our way here. I love how you can ground skim like that. <laughs> That's a whole lot of extra range on. I presume there will be enemies here. Gives me the option to sleep in the bed that's like in the dirt. Not on the dirt, but like literally in the dirt. What have we got? After me the flood. By the ancients during last week's rainstorm, my own eyes gazed upon a sight most mystifying. A hooded figure- Ow! <laughs> got me. Oh, I broke the- Okay, now I can't remember what it said. A hooded figure something or other- There we go. Put a figure on the road uh, to Glenwood's End with the look of a specter. Did they float above the ground or has my memory betrayed me? Sure, they probably put another point of interest on the map. In our shroud. Ow, you little jerk! I mean, that guy's shooting at me. He's so rude. This mace is pretty cool, but I'd like to get a, a good sword again. Just need to be something that's better than what I'm currently wielding. I assume somewhere here there'll be a staircase going down. Killed all these guys. Oh, here we go. 
Found it. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Should maybe a little pay a little attention to that. Not step of the red stuff, yeah. It's funny how how can like how consistently red stuff in games is bad. The general rule, just never stand in the red. Also, don't shoot the red things, because they'll usually explode. attack and like slip off the side of the stairs. Six month uh, membership renewal. Oh, and upgraded to uh, Mistakes Are Made tier too, no less. Thanks, Mr. Old Man. Appreciate the support. Thank you for being a member of the channel. Uh, I don't know what blew up there, but I think it might have been an archer throwing a thing at me. Oh. Also, a super chat from Christian. Uh, if you had to pick one, Enshrouded or Pal World? Um, personally, I think I would probably pick Enshrouded. What's that flower? Uh, not because I don't like Pal World, because I do. I had a lot of I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, but there's just something I like about this game slightly better, I think. That's just my take. I mean, I have like I said, I've been having fun with Pal World, but um, I don't know. This this kind of game is a little bit more up my. Typical uh, game playing alley. Oh, this got me. Um, man, I'm already down to three minutes of the shroud. Uh, that's less than ideal. It's over there, I wonder. Anything over there? Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, I gotta, I gotta go out and reset my shroud. It's funny, I jumped right over top of that one shot accidentally. So trade for red barrels, uh, bad if they made it green. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh, no. That's really inconvenient. Um... Crap. Alright, well, I still got two minutes. So I'm gonna get for reading chat while I'm trying to run up a staircase. For the record, that's a bad idea. What's the timer for? So, in this game, when you go into this fog, it's called the Shroud. Uh, and you have a limited amount of time you can be in here before the shroud will just flat out kill you. So as you as you level up your uh, your flame altar at your home base, it uh, increases the amount of time you can spend in the shroud. But you've got to always be aware of how long how long you have on your timer. I think I'm gonna pop one of these things so we can get some bonus time in here. Oh. Okay, let's go back and reset. <laughs> Epic smartness right there. Just 
It's gonna drop in here, I think. Oh, that was the wrong button. Alright, we're fine. mentioned spores so maybe yeah i mean it is seemed to be like all mushroom based kind of thing they so i think the idea with this is they were they're trying to make something to solve a problem i know that's super vague i don't remember what it was though and it resulted in them releasing this spore um kind of like polluted everything made everything turn bad down that way. Over here. Oh. Right, where's that? Oh god! <laughs> Almost rolled off the side. Dare say that might have been bad. healing in. I'm forgetting to, like, replenish my buffs. Where'd that guy come from? He wasn't there before. I already killed the guy. Bugs! Probably should be going after the boss first and doing all this looting stuff after, huh? Who's his daddy and what does he do? I don't need fiber so I can't craft any bandages. Oh, good! There's multiple bosses, because one wasn't enough. Oh god. Oh, got me midair. Popping berries. I don't have any bombs on me either. Didn't look terribly effective. Oh god. Uh eight.
Get me out of here. Maybe I should have put points into the bow stuff. I could use some stamina right about now. Pull back for a second here. I don't think they can climb ladders. We can just cheese it. Oh god, they can't climb ladders. Or did he just, no, maybe he just jumped. I think he jumped. Cheesy? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? Oh, jeez, I almost killed myself dropping down. Ooh, Wiltwood short bow. Right. Um, six. Get some healing men back in. Oh, hey, friend. Oh, boy. Borked, isn't he? Oh crap. <laughs> Copper arrows. Listen, can we talk about this or something? They're not really fun to play with. What that? Archer helmet. All right. Let's we'll see if we can get this thing chopped out before I die. I did not mean to do that. Strategic thinking. Thank you. You understand. <laughs> that definitely wasn't cheese. It was absolutely strategy. Using the terrain and stuff to my advantage. Anyway, we didn't die, so I'll take the win. Now these things always look so crazy different after you've been in the shroud. The shroud goes away. It's like being in another world. That's going to be a problem. What do we got on me? I've got some lightning, but... Have I got a staff? I have a staff. I don't put that. I've literally never used this before. I don't know what the range is or anything. Oh! I'm out of mana. <laughs> okay. Clearly I'm not set up for using spells. What is that? Oh god! Explode your barrel! I don't like this flower thing, man.
sounds upset, yeah. <laughs> it's in here, buddy. Doing a very good job of timing that, am I? Ah. Oh, ah, wrong thing. Ah. Oh. Come on. Six, eight. Whew. Let's see here, friend. And I use the term friend very loosely. What is this? This this has got to be a spawn thing, right? Oh, oh I wasn't. No, I. We'll spot at the top. It's all right. We got the respawn like right there, but. <sighs> all right. Figures. I live through the big mean guys and let that guy kill me. It's like being beat by the backup squad. I still don't have any arrows. That's kind of problematic. I keep thinking there might be something on that little bridge thing over there, but I don't think there is. Beaten by the potato mobs, that's right. They've out potatoed me. They went oak rotten. I figured that's gotta be a mob spawner. Beat him easy on the second time. Oh, jeez, that was crazy. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, God, run. Oh man, without uh, without ranged attacks, those uh, banshee guys are gonna be a problem. I can't do enough damage with the magic because I, I don't have any uh, I don't need build up for that. Like craft arrows. <laughs> I don't even have twigs to craft arrows with. Dang it. Through the world there. That would have been bad. Oh, okay. That's uh, the shroud recovery. We don't need that, obviously, because there's no sh real shroud here. Oh, we're back at the beginning. There, there's got to be something worth getting back there, right? There's another back here. Let's find out. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. 
Okay, that, that didn't work so good. It'd be funny if I'm trying to kill myself to get to something over there and there's like nothing there. Uh, I can't even make bandages. What's up with this? Back segment damage, armor helmet, or archer helmet. Monkey looking. I feel like they don't want you to be there. Exactly, which is why I want to go look there. Fireman's look pretty amazing. The rest of uh, the comment, lol. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. The um, so unlike uh, a game like Valheim, where it's um, it's all dynamically generated, this one's all like a crafted world, right? There's not even a chest back here. <laughs> literally, literally pointless. Killing myself trying to get in there. There's nothing there. much in here chest wise got that chest there already something in there I saw it I don't know Joseph I feel like you're pointing me back there to get me killed like no no totally I swear oh sorry I was wrong <laughs> Wand's the best way to hit bats. Well, that's because the wand, uh, like, um, the shot seeks out the enemy, right? <laughs> Not pointless, you're aggroing everything that ignored you before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should probably keep a wand on me as a backup for when I run out of arrows, because they do seem they seem to happen with some regularity. Oh, why would they put the secret little room in here and then have nothing in it? I feel cheated. Okay, we got a we got a soldier on. We're heading over here. Looks like if I walk out here, I'm able to fly a little bit. But it's nighttime, so now I can't see what I'm getting myself into. Maybe we'll go on land. Might find something else we can harvest. Dark out here. I need to get more arrows. I have to craft some, but I'm gonna have to craft them back. Oh, there's lots of plants down here. Uh, I need to craft them back home. But if I do that, oh, actually, am I gonna be stone on me? I was thinking I I, I couldn't put down a um flame altar because I'd already used them all up but I think I actually recovered a couple so that I just specifically so that I could double check there we go seems I can let's go home and swap out stuff we can reset our buff too which would be nice Ooh, lag You should keep it one just for the simple fact that you're playing a fantasy game while I stick with real world weaponry. Yeah, I mean, they don't shoot all that fast, I found, but they are certainly useful. Uh, okay. Level 32 power. I've got staff in here that's level 32. Same thing. 
But that I can salvage. I might know a lot of the archer helmet in case I decide I want to use it later. Probably not going to, but you never know. Stick it in there. I'm getting a crazy number of these potions. those away because I want the copper arrows. Uh, okay, so what about this bow? Level 15, level 18, 17 to 27. Yeah, I'm not going to get this thing up high enough even with four upgrades to challenge 27 power. I don't think anyway. Well, I upgraded, I upgraded this one three times, right? So I guess it must have been a level 15 bow also. Yeah, I'll keep the tarred bow. Maybe. It's kind of indecisive. I'm so indecisive. Let's check it out. Let's get it done. Tall tales. Mm. You know, I grew up in the capital. They used to tell stories. Stories I shared with my daughter as well. Sometimes at night, there's faint lights glowing beneath the waves. A sign of Queen Pike Mead's gracious rule. My daughter said she saw them once. Children's tale, I thought. But who knows? Stranger things have happened in Embervale. Huh. Yeah, there's just like a never-ending stream of like points of interest they're adding on. Uh, enhanced equipment. Wildwood boat. Oh, I gotta actually carry the things that I, I forgot. Else. We'll try it. I have a feeling it's gonna come out to like the same power level or something similar. But even if it's slightly better, it's still slightly better. Nope, it's definitely not even going to get close. <laughs> wow. I wonder why the tarred bow is so strong. 27 power. I gotta go with the raw power. It's just better. Got back a bunch of the things I put in it at least. Uh, all right, I want to make, uh, bandages. Because I've been running around without them, which is really foolish. What about some healing potions? Even the minor ones would be all right. Purple berries I haven't got many of right now. Yeah, we grab some purple berries. We can make some health potions. Or these ones here uh, also require purple berries. Well, how about that? <laughs> Safe travel. Those snakes and berries. There's got to be some growing out here. Is magic damage better for certain baddies? Yeah, there's some spells that are like super powerful. There's like this spell I think that people are talking about called Acid Bite, which uh, just destroys stuff, particularly bosses. So I've kind of been going sword and board because I enjoy the uh, enjoy the melee combat, but it seems like focusing on magic would be uh, a good option because it's just really powerful in terms of like raw damage output. Anyway, I think you tend to be a little bit more fragile the way it usually is with uh, spellcasters. Plus, with the staves, you get uh, you're consuming both um, stamina and uh, uh, stamina and spell charges when you're you're not stamina um, mana and spell charges rather. <laughs> Got to keep both around. That's why I end up with a battle mage nearly every time. Yeah, <laughs> so you got like your uh, your melee skills and stuff, but then just like powered up on magic. Or you like just focused on a ton of magic.
Yeah, the flax is ready. I'm gonna let it sit there for the moment. I probably should harvest and replant, but I want to go back out and try and get that, uh... Um... The cooking pot thing for the farmer. I think I actually had berries in here. Uh, two of them. This is not many, but... Okay, so with that I can make a couple of potions. It's only three, but it's better than zero. Flax makes what? Linen? Yeah, so over here on the, uh, what is this thing? The hand spindle. You can take the flax and turn it into linen. Might have other uses later on too, I don't know, but um, definitely useful for linen now. Uh, here. Trying to build a standard mage that somehow ends up rogue or like a warrior. Oh yeah, <laughs> it mostly depends on the game and how I'm feeling at the time. Yeah, I mean it's got flexibility to be able to alternate between the two. Oh, I didn't make arrows because I'm stupid. Too busy chatting. Too busy chatting and not crafting. Gah! Hopefully I have enough copper left to make some more. There are internal charges for the staff. Oh yes, but uh, those are like late game stuff. Mid to late game? I don't know. Either way, it's beyond what I can do now. Tell me I can make arrows. 50. 50 is not enough. Need more twigs. Dang it. This is why I planted twigs. <laughs> I only need a few though, so I'm not gonna go try and like hunt down a den. We'll just scra scavenge a few around here and then we'll go. I might need to hit a den soon. Be Jedi. <laughs> yeah. We get the force push. Poison arrows too, I guess. Poison arrows do oh the same amount of damage, but they also have poison. I should be making those. Why am I making regular ones? You are so dumb. Oh well. Next time I make arrows, I'm gonna make all the uh, the poison ones because clearly, clearly those are the way to go. Everything else is like the same cost. Check the blink skill. Yep. I don't have it, but uh, I've seen it. It's cool. Let's pick up the flax and make new seedlings. I should. You're right. Get to the copper. Oh, speaking of copper, there's some right here. That's funny. Okay. I'm going to turn this one off so I can take it with me. Well, not take it with me, but like set up another one later. I mean. Uh, I need to go that away. Oh, I should get some stamina stuff underway here. Ooh, I just ran out of water. It's problematic. That did not carry me very far. <laughs> Back off. I 
would like to find a more powerful bow. Okay, I gotta get up out of the uh, ravine I'm in. Probably another advantage of being a mage is you've got uh, more mana to use for that updraft ability. Bows really trial behind melee weapons for the most part. Yeah, they're just useful in certain situations where you don't want to close into melee range. And they definitely trail behind spells. It takes six arrows to take one of these things down. Now, granted, I'm not specced into bows, but... Point remains, I guess. What's going on here? Battle trenches. That's weird. A little defensive position or something. All right. <laughs> There's an arrow flying there. Pike means reach. That's a spawn point, in case we die. Anybody home? He's just hanging around. guy too this is big. some of this some of this area is shrouded and some's not ah <laughs> found the opening For dumping hot tar on people? That's fun. Unless you're on the receiving end. New location charted. Huckster Square.
This is pretty empty, man. Oh, okay. Oh, God dang! I guess this is where the poison arrows would have been handy. Neil with the super chat. Thanks for getting me addicted to this game. You're welcome, Neil. Anytime I can help you waste your money, you let me know. <laughs> Good game, though. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, God, I'm gonna die. Woo! Get me out of here. That didn't work. Um, I'd like to heal, please. Thank you. Oh, God. We talk about this. <laughs> Get out of there. I need some stamina, please. That'd be great. Hot dang. Those guys aren't very friendly. his feet. Yeah, the bow guys get dead. Where's those other jerks? <laughs> jump attack, jump attack! Ah, oh, I was trying, busy trying to, like, escape and not get hit. They can hit me while I'm jump attacking, so I was like... Oh, the battle music started again. Did they see me already? Oh, he did. guy's okay by himself. It's just when I'm trying to fight other guys at the same time, it's kind of a problem. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Are oh, you stuck? He's like, yeah, I am. Oh, I'm gonna unstuck him doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you. Poor guy. Well, that's his bar. That's probably what it is. The merchant says cheese it, yeah, probably. That's effective, but it's really not doing a lot of damage. Oh, look, he died. That took a lot of arrows, though. Again, the poison arrows would have been way better. Alright, let's get this, uh... Root out of here. Get right to the root of the problem. Wreck your, uh, fog stuff, buddy!
What do you got here? The invaders have taken the square. The foot soldiers must be marching to the harbor, encroaching on the gate, no doubt. I'm blessed to have made it to my hidden attic on time. I can't see from here, but I hear them. Their lord, the guard of the north, is chanting something dark and tainted. The sky outside moves. No, it's the clouds. A misty veil with strips colored blue light. What on earth? Peeking now, I see it. The cobblestones rip open like foul flesh. He's removing his gloves by the ancient, his hands. They look frozen and dead like preserved rotten meat. Is he raising something from below? I can't see. I have to lean a little further. Oh, look! <laughs> I think he fell out from up there. <laughs> He's like, I gotta lean out just a little bit farther. Guard of the North Gloves. Minus one min, uh, sorry, minus one max time in the shroud, but magic damage, range damage, and melee damage. Wearing these gloves, the Northern Lord carved those ways through the shrouded valleys of Embervale. Cars he put into people and soil can be traced from cold heights, bleak mountains, to today's ruins of Pike Mead's Reach. I want to go up and see what that guy had in his attic up there. Oh. I'm going that way. It's a cool looking set. Location charted. Sometimes I wish you could pick up the. Uh... Okay, looks like there's a pathway through there. Uh, I kind of wish you could pick up the barrels and move them around sometimes. Boom barrels. I should actually blow them up just to see what they expose. <laughs> it's like nothing. This shroud root again, but I already got rid of that thing. All right, there's no easy opening to the attic, I guess. I'm gonna have to uh, get to it from the outside somehow. Nothing. Man, all that effort chasing down the story only to find out that there's nothing there anyway, but that's where the guy was. <laughs> Leaned out his window too far and paid the price. Smack the barrel with your base. Listen, I don't want to die like instantly. Even if it would be entertaining. little loot in this place. Even in these, like, upper levels. Why is there a save point right here? <laughs> you don't want to die, you're flameborn. I might be flame-born, but I'm not expo explosion-born. <laughs> 
Truth or dare? Cloudy, I dare you to join me for a little mischief. We're meeting at Skimmer's Cove tonight with June and Ricky. June wants to steal her father's lantern so we can travel there at nightfall. I know how to get past the guards uh, since last summer, so no worries. Ricky says he's going to yell real loud to rock the cove and lure out the lizard creatures. I think he won't dare, though. He's a chicken. Crawl out your window at midnight if you dare to join. I left some lanterns out for you. We got snacks, too. Or tell Ricky you like him. You won't, because you're his chicken as well. My god. Courtyard bad. This courtyard? The chest down there. Ow, it hurt. Oh crap, I forgot I was out of water. this. Not that I don't already have a bunch planted. Prowl raid! Hey, Prowl. Thanks for the raid. Welcome anyone who might be joining from Prowl stream. Oh, what's here? <laughs> it's hitting stuff on the back swing, but not the front swing. Oh. Secret basement, and there's still no loot. Oh. Sub basement? Oh, you little jerk. Oh, it didn't even kill him. I feel like those barrels should be a little more powerful. Oops. There we go. A hatchet. Hardly seems worth it. Found the children? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Prowl. Appreciate it. I looted some water, did I? Uh, one water, anyway. One water is better than no water, I guess. Couldn't tell there's anything back there, but it's just wall.
Some other basement? That was the save point I already had, right? I'm so turned around right now. Is there anything you can make with Cambio with besides tea? Uh, it's part of the healing potions, actually. Uh, it's useful for the, uh... That larger potion I have in spot number 8 on my hotbar. I'm, like, thoroughly turned around. I don't know where I've been and where I haven't been now. Lots of redness down there. I gotta get up there still. Uh, there is a flying flame sanctum here somewhere too. How to head there? Oops. That's it right there. Three. Flame Sanctum. Nothing is sacred. Three arrows inside Casper's ribs, and Marcus's spine is surely splintered. Carried him to safety. Fire raining down on us. We've sundered the command, Cyrus. We sundered the commander, Cyrus, at nightfall when the fell crept in. Alas, we're blessed beyond all. While veiled in holy light, the fell won't come near. Perhaps our refuge is the final result of Emily Frey's blessing. I pray their southern caravan route is less perilous than ours. I set down the pen. Casper cries. He needs soothing. Raoul. Oh, got the kettle. Score. And a couple sparks. Okay, we've got another. One of those things. Oh, jeez. Oh, we found an enemy. Toast. Hey, just help us. They broke through. Soldiers of the Northern Guard. They ravaged it all. The brittle walls were torn apart. The gate was lowered. They locked us out. You cannot run. Rats in a cage. Their fists clash against the iron. I lower my hands. Fold my palms and pray. Dear ancients, please anyone, open the gates. Feels like a trap. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, it was a trap. Really wish I had explosives right now.
Okay. Yeah, I already got the the uh, the flame out of the flame sanctum there. Probably gonna take cover in the flame sanctum. They might not have come in, but. That was just the tease. You need stronger weapons? Yeah, I kind of do. I would like to find some more. This thing is, uh, I mean, it's been fun to play with, but it's, it's not exactly cutting it. Open something interesting, but not so much. Go through that door that opened and see what's in here. Nightwind bow, that is better than what I have. What time I found an upgrade? A weird little pocket in here. Another one of those flames we can collect here. A little frame, flame shrine. Core. It is so easy to get turned around in this game. <laughs> like. Little winding buildings and stuff, fog filled streets. Awful. That's the court. What's the courtyard? Like where that portcullis gate is open right there? Huh. 
is that? You guys are different. They're all glowy. <laughs> There's hiding from my bow. And about a copper arrows. More arrows is <laughs> got me by surprise. These must be crypts here or something because they've all got staircases going down. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, hey, friend. We returned to Earth today. Never thought I'd see a war, nay, a live invasion in the last of my tired days. I buried so many, I confess this comforts me, guiding people on their final voyage. So many last goodbyes. Today becomes mine. When one of the armies passed the gates, we can't seek respite in the castle. Gormander locked all doors, lowered all gates. I'll not stop the horde. Or it will not stop the horde, rather. They'll find their way. Ancients preserve us, the shroud is seeping inside. Something drips from above. If anyone finds this, if anyone's left, I want to be buried next to my wife and son under the old oak. Leave the headstone blank. I have nothing left to say. Ooh, guard of the north chest plate. So that goes with those gauntlets that I got. Again, it's got this reduction in shroud time, though, that's kind of troublesome. Those look, those look pretty cool, though. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that, because I've only got one. Boots. We have got all kinds of armor in here. Ah, I'm running out of food. Um, I'm gonna drop the chamomile because we got that growing at home. Berries down here, I guess. Imperial Garden. Oh man, it's so different than the light of day. <laughs> Okay, 
Get her in there. I got salt on that guy. I think I'd be concerned about using salt I got on a dead body. <laughs> Ram was trying to tell me something. Your inventory's so full, surely you'd want to st uh, stop him and get some arrows, eh? Try on the armor set? Probably. Should probably get out of the fog so we can fast travel back. Um, I need to be able to put down a uh, another flame altar. Gotta get stone. here. I don't like those bugs. Combs. I'm restless. The night groans from behind the walls strain. My ears are rattle grinding and dull. The whimper from a dry throat as the kindle waste sands. My throat dries as the kindle waste sands. A hollow knock of my skull attached to my spine and shaking my core with every vibration. I cannot bear it. I brought timber and nails. Whatever it is, it will not enter. <laughs> Unless it has an axe. these things for stone or do they just give me like nothingness nothingness it is might have to like dig into the dirt and get some stone maybe there we go now the question is can I actually place this thing down anywhere in here Not sure if you can build the capital itself. Yeah, I might not be able to. I know. Not enough free space. So it would seem the answer is no. But if I if I uh, fast travel out of here, then I uh, can't get straight back. I might have to get out of the capital here and try to place one of these things down. But it's got to be like a non-shrouded area too. Is 
might let me fly out instead of walking. Uh, no, you can't fast travel to these. You can only set waypoints for them. The only places you can fast travel to are the the, um, the flame altars you put down or these uh, ancient spires. To be able to travel back to the last restaurant, yeah. But if I if I travel home, it will classify that as the latest shrine. At least that's what I've run into before. Metal Star Mace, damage 32, and I'm, my backpack's full. Uh, I guess we can get rid of the flax. I don't need the dirt. One wax isn't doing me a lot of good. How does that compare to the one I'm using? So this one's 35 damage, this is 32. All right. I need a way to get out of here quickly. I can fly out, but then getting back in is going to be a nuisance. I gotta fly out someplace where there isn't any shroud. I don't remember it being all shroud when we came in here. <laughs> it's also two-handed, I think. Is it? I don't know. I can check, I guess. I thought the Metal Star Maces were all one-handed. Keep the dirt, it's worth a lot in Waterworld. So, what direction did I come in here from? Down here, right? So there's gotta be... Gotta be an open area out front there that's, uh... It's not enshrouded. Love the glider in this game. If you have to get to the top of one of those hills on the other side, it might be useful. I don't have to climb all the way over there, though. This leads got me back home, so I can unload. And I got her cook pot. Oh, there we go. Praise the ancients, you got my kettle. How's Raoul? Oh, their time ran out as mine stood still. So we really are the last. How cold. Let's light a fire in their honor. Crafting a fireplace with the kettle will warm us right up. Music in this game reminds me a little bit of, uh... That, um... Crap, what was that Spanish one? The Conquistadors. <laughs> Fountain of Youth. Survival Fountain of Youth. Okay, we've got all kinds of stuff here. Uh, this Metal Star Mace is not going to be better than the one I'm using. So let's sell that. 32 damage hatchet. Sell that. 32 power staff. That can go. Uh, I've run out of room in here for these. Where's that bow I found? Okay, so this one is uh, 24 power versus 27. It only has one upgrade, so it's actually not better. Dang it. Can't win for trying. We'll see how that armor compares. Okay, so the stuff I've got is, uh, whoops. Ooh, they congested there for a second. It's not appropriate on stream. Upgrade new weapon. Uh, it only had like one upgrade. It really wasn't any better. Um, okay, so this is 44 and 44 versus 61 and 30. Gives more health. Untouched by the flame and veiled in a lingering cold, this armor used to belong to Lord Vorgoth, who was rumored to have a frozen heart that splinters and breaks with every tired beat. Got a higher magic resist, but I'll hold on to it anyway, just because it might be cool. 
I hope at some point they have armor stands in this game. If they don't already. Alright, let's get my stuff fixed. Yeah, I need more arrows again. It's like a never-ending thing. Uh, oh, I gotta make the copper arrows before I can make the poison arrows. Ah, crap, I could have made poison arrows before. Ah, I'm so lame. <laughs> I gotta get twigs. Oh, lots of different music styles. Yeah, I guess it kind of does, doesn't it? Just realized your character looks like uh, Price from Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it the chops? That's gotta be the chops, right? Okay, right, hold on. I gotta go get some twigs. I know there's a cave right up here. Or not a cave, but like a wolf den. Be a little cautious. The guard of the North Army clearly didn't help the original guard. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair... Uh, that's a fair assessment, I guess. Unless he just wasn't wearing... Oh, crap. This was within range of my... Shoot. It was in range of my flame altar, so it didn't respawn. Looks like I need to move that thing. Really not helpful with shroud either. Yeah, no, the uh, the time reduction in the shroud would be brutal. It'd be one thing if the if the armor had like some really strong characteristic that you might be willing to take that negative for. Not it doesn't really have that. Higher magic resist or whatever, which I guess is alright. A little bit of higher health too, but I don't feel like that's worth it. Reminds me, I actually have eight points to spend. Holy crap. Um, uh, let's go this way. Warrior's Path. When attacked with a melee weapon, all damage is decreased by 10%. Uh, after feeding a shroud-infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish plus five shroud time. I mean, that could be handy. Meat now increases health by an additional 15%. The added health would be helpful. Increase melee by 5%. All blunt damage is increased by 10%. I'm gonna take this just because I'm using a blunt weapon right now, but I'd rather have a sword. I do need to get water too, yeah. Smoke pot, not war. Can't smoke war anyway. What are you thinking? <laughs> what do we got over here? Printing speed increased by 10% and stamina consumption decreased by 10%. I think I'm going to take that. Because I, I do find myself running away a lot. Faster and with less stamina consumption would be great. <laughs> Some swords will do some of each damage type, yeah. Notice that. It's a better sword somewhere in there. It's underneath all the twigs! Alright, 50 do will do for now. Have to make some arrows anyway. <laughs> it is a little odd mining for twigs, but it's a really good way to get them. You get quite a bit in a short amount of time.
Okay. Give to me more arrows, lady. Okay, so now we'll be firing the, uh, the, the poison arrows instead of just the regular ones. I'm gonna have to get more copper again soon. I'm running out. I gotta get water. What do I need to build that cooking pot? Fireplace. Not much. Okay, in here I can make six different recipes. We got uh, grilled game, grilled mushrooms, roasted azure rizula. Water in little range, this mushroom's odd taste comes from pure magic. Forcing through great power awaits the consumer. They're not really any like fancy recipes though. They're just like regular, regular ones. Real pleasure of the taste buds, uh, able to set free all of its strengthening abilities. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Let's throw some corn in there, see what it makes. What do you want? <laughs> Strange letter! Flameborn, some time ago a curious thing happened. I received a note. Take a look. From Regan, courtesy of the Conways. I never met a Regan, but I know the Conways. Couriers from the east. They must have traveled through the trade outpost Blazing Rock to deliver this message. Can you investigate? Right, yeah. ahead. Never ending stream of requests from these guys. Um uh, did I get more berries? Got the dried ones. Nine of these. Let's see if we can make some more, uh... Make some more healing. Health potions. Oh, I gotta get water. And, uh, chamomile I think I have downstairs, unless I use it already. No, oh, I gotta go pick it. Okay. We'll get the water, we'll get the chamomile, we'll make some more healing. Now I need to find you a good copper deposit. There's a few good ones. Well, I've, I've found a couple good ones anyway. Ah, oh, only five water. I've really got to be able to make the uh, the well. That didn't work. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite make the turn. <laughs> what you got? Uh, popcorn, vegetable puree, chamomile tea. No, I've just got nothing new. Nothing new with the firework, but the, this guy's got something going on. Gotta get masonry tools. Wanna hear a joke? Carpenter without masonry tools. That's it. That's the joke. I'm a farce. A poser. I need proper tools, but the blacksmith won't lend me his. Go figure. I know where to get some masonry tools, though. Does the research site at Pillars of Creation ring a bell? Alright. Sweet. We'll get to learn some, uh, to make some stuff. Other things. Camille Teal's real good. Talking about like real good as a buff or real good as in like uh, you like drinking it. Five health regen and two endurance. Uh, low. That's thirty-five minutes. Okay, that is pretty good. I ran out of water, so I can't make potions now. Uh, boop. Compared to this one, which is five minutes of plus one health regen, that's awfully good. 
And I like that it lasts 35 minutes. It's crazy. Wow, that is good. Okay. I need water. I need more water. Uh, I guess I can put the chamomile back because I don't have water to make the potions with now. After a third of your harvest should always go back to make more seeds. Oh yeah, I kept forgetting to make seeds into that. Uh, where did I just put it? <laughs> I thought I stuck it like right here. There it is. Oh, I got one water in here. Just only gonna let me make uh, one of the chamomile. Okay, we can go back. Remember, there's a well in the ruins right next to your base. I, oh, that's I, I just went and uh, got the water from there, but I need more. I only had five in it right now. Why not dig your own well? There's a point at which you can craft your own well, and then you can have infinite water, because you can just, like, put the well down, take the water out, pick it up, put it down, take the water out again. Um... But I don't have that unlocked yet, unfortunately. Nice. It wouldn't be convenient if we found a well in here somewhere. Ah, crap. <laughs> Let's just see if I can get myself killed right away, shall we? Do the double jump. Also can't land on top of the spikes apparently. We'll go this way. here. Jeez, stop hitting me. Those bugs hurt, man. Oh wow, look how quick that healing is. Ooh, gold chest. Oh, right in the hole. <laughs> Archer gloves. Not terribly useful, but we'll take them. Good folk, heed this warning. Skimmer's Cove crumbles and roars. King Gormander's Imperial Guard suspects an impending collapse. Refrain from visiting the cove or venture forth at your own risk. Search and rescue operations cannot be performed until the war subsides. Furthermore, stay clear of the coast at night. Reports confirm strange vibrations in the water, as well as moving lights. However, King Gormander wants to reassure you personally that sightings of an aquatic beast remain unfounded. Hike means reach is as safe as can be. <laughs> See, he was very correct. Glory rises from the depths once more. Dearest people, hear my tale. It is true. They've returned. I've seen the wisps with my own eyes. Down by White Wind's shores, brighter than ever before. They've returned to bring glorious light from the depths, hailing from the cove. Do not fret. They are our reptilian brothers. Glistening, scaly backs peek out from beneath the waters, ready to carry you to safer shores. Good fortune must be upon us. Our war will end. The craze for the elixir will subside. The water will rain. Uh, the water and rain will clear. The, soup, the soil will stop to sour. Good omens are all around. Eh, that guy's a little deluded. 
Okay, I gotta get uh, back around over to here, whatever that is. Ah, I didn't make it. The gate's closed again. Now it's open. That's weird. Why does this chest look closed in here? Did I loot this thing? I did. Weird. Bah! And Shroud just had to fall when I'm too sick of migraine to get anything out of it. See you later. Alright, see you, X-Doc. Hope you feel better. Migraines suck. I can't remember how I got over to where I was before. Now it's all dark, too. The other side there or something? I feel like I was in there already. Got a bulletin board down there. Uh, I'm gonna see what's down in here. I can't tell if this is a place I was in already or not. I was in one that looked like this, but I don't know if it's the same one. Bugs. Yeah, I came down that ladder actually. Pike Weekly, nothing grand about Gormander. King Gormander's la uh, latest addition to Pike Mead's Reach is, in my opinion, a disgrace. The pathetic attempt of a man with timbered teeth to reach his mother's levels of ad adoration. It's a narrative more shallow than White Wind's Waters. Last summer, our Lord's attempt to rename the Imperial Gardens to Gormander's Gardens was fouled by civil unrest. Instead, we've been blessed with a statue of his likeness. Thatcher's gaze is as stiff and paralyzed as our, our ruler's disposition to the brewing troubles in the north. The grandest thing about Gormander next to his treasury is his wooden overbite. Ramon Jones, editor of the Pink Weekly. Gormander watches over us. King Gormander, son of glorious Pike Mead, grand patron of the Rebel Wood and Springlands, watches over all. Original gaze unites us as one. Shields us from calamity and ushers in a new age of prosperity. Good work, buddy. Clearly done good things here. Oh. One of those guys. There's got to be another, uh... Get poisoned. fairly easily.
Could be another one of those roots here if that guy was down there. Was that a book on the bench to the right of the stairs where you walked up to read the other books? Uh, might have been. Like a book you can break apart kind of thing. Oh. Ah, made a move. In the Chain lightning. This place is just a, like a complete warren of little nooks and crannies to search in. It's crazy. I'm not even going go in the right direction anymore. What's this? Gormander's Imperial Gardens. Oh, maybe there was something I was supposed to get there. It's just a dismantable book. Got the question mark there, like it's uh, supposed to be something I should see, but. Do you have to go up behind him? That's where the book is. Well, there's this thing here that, um, but I didn't see like a, like the book here could be dismantled if this was the book you were talking about. But it's just a dismantled thing. It's not like anything else. There's something to read at the foot of the statue. Yeah, I read that already. King Gormander, son of glorious Pike Mead. We already read that. Unless I gotta like break a statue down. Like suck it statue. I don't know. It's me. I know you played a ton of games, but will you consider playing Factorio on stream? Your logical brain might enjoy it. Uh, I've toyed around with Factorio just the tiniest little bit. I have the game, actually. Uh, I only ever played it for, like, 30 minutes, I think. Or did I stream it? No, I don't. I definitely didn't stream it once. I know I played RimWorld on stream, but... Might be fun to play. I don't know. Try digging in the garden? Yeah, we could try that, I guess. Maybe there's something underneath the ground. I hear there is a sparkle when I come over here, like a tinkling sound. 
Oh, jeez, right there. <laughs> hey, look, we found something. Completely unassisted. And that got rid of the question mark. That's funny. So there should be something over here with a scattered legacy. When in doubt, dig it out. Well, this doesn't feel so good. Is there another shroud roof hiding here? Some oh, there's a chest over there. As the tide rises, all my life the sea's been by my side. Her face glistened during the day, decorated by twirling specks of light, gently brushed by the sun. My troubles would fade at the sight, even as she rose and billowed over the edge. She swept away all troubles and pains. Now the light of my eyes fades. I hear the waves echo in my ear like a whisper of a conch shell. They grow closer. I've hit all I've left below for her to take my parting gift to an old friend. Banshee jerk! Oh god, this guy's got hit me when I came up here, didn't you? Oh, that sucked. Okay, we're gonna take some chamomile tea. Oh, I've still got it. Dang it. What happened there? This city's dangerous, man. He said he left this stuff below for his lady friend. Oh, come on, get up there. I'll tell you what happened is potato wave. Sometimes if you hit the hit the button, it uh, fires. You can't stop it. chest armor. Sounds nuts. Can't see anything. Oh, it's 
Back this way, whatever it is. It's gotta be down there, right? Where all the bugs were. that barrel over there. Maybe not the best idea. Guard of the North Pants. Man, we're going to get the whole set of armor if we keep this up. We're locked out. So-and-so's closed the gates to the inner city. Just left us poor to, to rot and die. It won't help. Vorgoth's army will get in. I hope they burn. Let Gormander taste copper and steel. I'll go down easy. I'm hidden, but I still have the blasted sickness from last winter. My body fails me if I sneeze, if I yap. If the north things sa sauntering around outside, the sewers will be my tomb. I'm shivering. It's not my cold flashes. Something's off. There's, there's wind in here. No, there's breathing. In here, and sharp like a blade. Can't see where or what. It's in me. In my throat. It's so cold. It's acid. It's worse. Worse than the sewer. Help. It feels like winter again. Oh, I guess I should pay attention to my uh, shroud level. Oh, crap. Oh, crud. Oh, crap. <laughs> Get me out of here. I gotta go to the shroud. Alright, we're fine. Suck it, bug. All right, where's that leave me? Curio Cavern of Curiosities. Over here we've got the Scattered Legacy and whatever that is. We can get back towards the center part of town, I guess, now. It's definitely Gatorade. <laughs> He's trying to say winter's coming. Maybe that was Jon Snow. Ah, uh, too slow. Another note. Yesterday, the river flooded, just swept across the border and all the way to the plaza. Its mellow waves foaming at the great stairs. An eager tide, they say. A blockage must have loosened upstream. But I beg to differ. Water tastes different. The whips against our outer walls, rising. During Queen Pikemead's rule, this would have never happened. Our kingdom erodes under Gormander. We become weak. I have the impression they don't like this Gormander guy. I didn't see any chest in there. Okay, we can climb up and fly again. John Snoo.
I can't get over how much there is to explore in this little city thing here. in the chest, even though I've already looted them. I guess they must reset as soon as you fast travel. Okay, this time we're going that away to, toward the Imperial Gardens, I guess. Well, there's the statue there. I can just fly past him. There's a chest there. <laughs> Missed it. not ominous. Not going in that way. the band warming up. <laughs> Not if I want to see this band. That's gotta be a two-hander, right? Oh, yeah. Pressure uh, torch there. Ah, kick it up there. <laughs> Guess we gotta go down to go to that door over there, but this feels like a trap, and you guys did say avoid the courtyard. short some of those foods are. Alright. Whoa, my god! <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, seven. Oh, god. Woo. Um, was that one and two damage I was doing there? Get up. 
Go, go, go. when he's charging his breath weapon he's vulnerable then all right well we did some damage to him how many arrows have i got 60. i thought i had a healing potion down here but it was uh definitely not healing that was that was not healing at all Dispel blight 30 percent damage multiplier i feel like i should be taking that thing <laughs> Almost had him, yeah, for sure. It was, it was a, uh, it was very, very close, very close. Get him next time. Uh, I'm worried that my weapon's gonna run out of power. Good considering it's all relative, though, right? Now he hits harder. I know. Stunned him. Whew. Ow. 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 Dead. <laughs> that went so much faster. Oh my god. Down an altar to travel back here. I can't though. I don't think I can put one this close to the city. I've got one out front, but uh, I'll have to go back through the city when I teleport in. I got one down here. Fifty-four arrows left. Oh, my stuff back. Oh, you know what? I probably should have uh, prepped first.
stops me. getting hit. There doesn't seem to be iframes in your roll. Bugs for me. <laughs> He wasn't so tough. Ooh, commander's ring. 30% mana plus 30 health. Heat of the pike. Open all the doors in the pike. The castle within pike's mean. Alright, we got the key. We got the key. That was a tough fight. Well, actually, not that tough. He's a big meanie, though. Didn't like him. Didn't like him at all. Hold on. Gonna get a victory shot. It's not good, buddy. Uh, do you need the guy's head? Yeah, I've got, uh... That's a Fell Thunder Brood. No, oh, here it is here. Fell Wisp Waver in head, so that we need that for upgrading the uh, the flame altar we have. What's 30 health? What have I actually got ring wise here? 8 stamina, 10 health, 3% life leash chance. <laughs> 3%! Woo! Go me! Uh, feel like I should just take the straight health. 
Plus 30 health and plus 30% mana is better than a 3% 3, 3 chance of life leech. Go for the cuddle pose. <laughs> He's tech rated. Oh, I can't get it in there. The little bug bits around here, too. Got two shots anyway. Oh, what have we here? Requires the key, but we got it. Go us. Can't say I'm not disappointed. I mean, congrats to your win. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got a couple deaths out of it. Don't, uh, it's not like you didn't get anything. What is that weird noise when I pull the staff up? That's so weird. chest there. I want to see what's up first, though. Give me a gold chest. That's not a gold chest. I got healing. I'll take it. Yeah, good view from up here. Look at this. It's a killer view. See the whole fellow? Yeah. Oh, Fox, that was epic. That fight was fun. He took a, he took a shocking amount of damage when he stunned. I'm curious if there's anything in here. <laughs> I'm gonna guess probably not. Although there is an opening in the floor. It's just where the mushroom grew up. Uh, I can't get up top of there, so that rules that out. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Oh, chest. Guard of the North helmet. Man, if you were wearing all this Guard of the North equipment, it looks really cool, but it sure shrinks your uh, your shroud time. Setting sail. Wherever he fled, if at all, Gormander's alone or with another courtesan. The city's drenched. They've crushed our wall early morn and now coat our town with thick, suffocating nebula colored like ostrich feathers. A cower here alone for the first time in years, like a little girl. My heart flutters like a thrashing caged canary. I should have run away and chartered a ship. Seized it. I could fence and read a map, after all. Maybe it's not too late. I could still wake up to the ocean blue and feel salt on my skin. See mermaids and sing at the docks loudly, finally. I want to end in a storm and a blaze and not a lonely little tower. Don't laugh at me. I feel so small. Well, he didn't get out of here. Things did not end well for that gentleman.
Oh, crap. That was not good. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Whew. Wow. I can't, uh, can't reach that thing now. Well, that's what happens when you don't fly properly. <laughs> I think we're going to have to teleport out of here. I'm pretty sure I may not have a way out. Yeah, overshot by a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on. Let me double jump. There we go. I don't see any anchor points I can latch onto to pull myself up, though. It's getting dark. Dang it. Ruined a good thing. this door over here will probably open now that we have the key. Fred's nearby. They're inside the door! Okay, that's cheating. They're in the floor! That's cheating, man! God! It didn't ruin it, really performed as expected. Hardy har. And up here. This is where that thing broke out of. I can't see anything in here. Aliens means whack-a-mole? Yeah, yeah. going right now. I think I mean, I'm kind of gradually going up, yeah. 
Rusty sword. Uh oh, backpack's full. Ah, what have I got that I can pitch? I mean, I don't really need these. Um, dirt I can get anywhere. I'm holding the sticks because I keep having to go after those. I don't really need this mycelium stuff. Experience scroll. Gain a small amount of experience upon absorption of content. Well, let's use that. No point sitting on it. Finally got a sword and it's rusty. That just figures. Oh. Now where am I going? So many doors. It's better than your mace, isn't it? No, my mace does 35 damage. Uh, yeah, here's the mace here. It does 35. The sword does 32, and then it only has like a single upgrade. It does poison damage, though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going anywhere in here, or if this is just, uh... Explore and loot kind of thing. Oh, wait. I came all the way around to here. This was the... Up top of this thing was the tower I tried to land on when I overshot. Oh, crap. Well, on the way down. in here. I can't see anything. Now. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> and right as I say that, I find another chest. <laughs> Nightwing bow, power 24. How's that compared to what I'm using here? Power 27. Level 18. Where's that bow? Level 15. Even if I upgrade it twice, it's still not going to beat out the bow I have. I think upgrades is a challenge. Okay, I think we're done in here. Go back home. Mage Bill could one-shot the boss earlier. Oh, really? <laughs> Supposedly Power 17 was doing 300 damage to that boss. Yeah, if when you get it when he's got, uh, like, weakened or whatever, it does quite a bit. Question mark to my left. That was, like, outside of the city, though. Like, up on a hilltop there somewhere. There's also this one down here, Scattered Legacy. I'll have to go after that one another time, I think. It's already getting kind of late. Uh, I do have to be up for work in the morning, so I'm gonna have to crash for tonight. But, uh, we did get some farming done. I found some more seeds. Didn't really get some really good food. I thought to, with more things to to um, to grow we'd, and cook with, we'd get some different recipes, but um, that doesn't seem to be a thing just yet. So I don't know. I gotta find some better combination of foods. That tea I made is pretty sweet, but um, I need some I need some more stuff that has like a long duration like that. That would be helpful. Anyway, thanks so much for coming to hang out tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats and everything as well. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Come back and hang out with us another time. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.